How you doing trappers? Ed Snyder with Kansas Trapline Products. Hey, it's great having you here today. Today is a coyote drag topic uh, that we're going to be covering. If you're on the fence of whether you want to drag or not, here's three examples of my catch. Uh, they don't go very far. One of them, I think, maybe went 40 yards. And you walk with me when we go find it. And, uh, it, you know, uh, dragging uh, is a lot of fun. Uh, saves a lot, of, a lot of time most of the time. If you toss the drag to the side and, and just kind of cover up three foot of chain, stuff like that. But whatever you're going to do, uh, I'm, I'm giving you three different examples. 90% of the time, the coyotes are pretty close to you. The beautiful part about uh, uh, doing a drag is your catch circle is uh, not at your drag spot. You want to set it up so the coyote runs away from your set location. That's the idea is that you can come right back in, you find a blowout, which you'll see where all of a sudden the dirt's popped open and no, no trap, right? So the coyote's done uh, run off a few feet down the way. Your catch circle's down there, and you can come back and reset your set, uh, keep all your good odors. Most of the time, like uh, it's common for me, I'm doing dirt holes or, or uh, T-bone type sets or, you know, whatever trail sets. Using a drag, well... Everything is just the way, way you left it. it. It just doesn't have a trap. So it's a lot faster remaking your set. You don't have to worry necessarily about coyote avoidance at your set location in this kind of a case because he was just there and took off. So it's a very, you, you have a minimal amount of uh, a catch circle type of an odor that may detract another coyote from coming in and working it. Now, for those of you who have not used my video or ever subscribed to my videos, I highly encourage you to do that. Uh, stay to the end of this one, folks. I got uh, at the very last video, I show you how I uh, bury a, a drag, put the, and set the trap on top in a trail set. It's something I learned from Craig O'Gorman many, many years ago. Uh, also, I appreciate all the orders you guys have given me. Uh, it is very much appreciated. Got orders I still got to put together for today, but I thought I'd get this video out first. Now, this is kind of a bumpy video uh, because I am moving to have to find the coyote or, you know, to work around trees. It's also a windy video. I can't help that. We're in Kansas. I apologize for the wind, but can't do nothing about it. And believe it or not, there is a wind sock on the, on the microphone, but uh it when it's that windy sometimes you just can't stop the wind so anyway folks enjoy the video glad to have you along and like always uh tight chains heading down i've taken a coon out of here and uh but i see my t-bone hoping for a hoping for a, a bobcat and uh, there's my pan cover right there. And I got it pulled. I got a blowout. I think we can see that. Hopefully I can see that. And uh, over here, I don't have to hunt them down, but look how that drag took that old coyote where is that drag over there but we got ourselves a coyote right there nice bushy one but didn't go too far uh, real nice about that didn't go too far and uh, down this uh, creek edge so let me put him down but the beautiful thing is the beautiful thing is is he didn't go very far and uh i will be able to come right back in here and set this right back up isn't that that's the game there i mean just a nice blowout right here on the bottom got a good coyote that's fantastic so let me put him down and uh so i can remake this set checking my uh sets here for uh trail sets like that set it looks good still nothing wrong with it and uh, 
I got two more over here and uh, just thought I'd bring you along I know it's a windy day and I can't do a lot of filming but let's see here I got a set over here this looks different oh hey there's where my trap was make sure you guys can see that that's where my trap was it's tore up right there this is kind of tore up it's still tore up wait a minute I think I see a drag mark see that drag is coming up this way I don't know there's the drag she's still going oh I see it I see the coyote is sitting right over there but I'm just kind of following that drag it done a pretty good job getting through here It really got, there's my, he don't look like a very good cow, it's a hind foot catch. Uh, yeah, there it is. Coyote on the other end. And uh, the drag did its job, it went, there's about where my pickup is. So I don't know how good of a coyote we got here, but let me see if I can get him put down and uh, we'll see how I do. But yeah, good, good. That coyote went a little ways, maybe 40 yards, I guess. And it done an outstanding job. It must have kind of got, it looks like the drag is a little bit plugged up there and it's real sandy soil here, but it's locked in. So. All right, let me get this coyote put down and uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, trappers, that was exciting. Uh, having a, a nice catch on, on a uh, trail set drag. So we need to do a couple things. This is a remake. I mean, what's nice is my set looks just like it originally did. Scrape out right there, and uh, beside the trail here, I'm gonna dig it out like I did before. Bury my drag. That Ed, that Ed, 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 Ed Wimberley's High Plains Plow. I just think it's the best thing. The high, the best. Uh, drag a guy could own and unfortunately Eddie don't make them anymore but what a great what a great setup he went about 40 yards all right need just enough to get to me there there we go let me go and start <coughs> covering up my <coughs> my drag. It makes it easy here. All right. Pan tension still good. Night latch. Let's go ahead and uh, clean my night latch off. bury our chain
just off the trail here. You know, every one's a little different, and uh, some of them are got it has so much sagebrush, you about have to bury it in the trail. But this one's open enough that the coyote can get moving on, and uh. Looks like new. Brush it. Looks good. All right. Got to kind of love working with sand. All right, I'm going to put a couple of glands there. I'll put some coyote gland lure here. Just smear it right on my rock. And some urine. Just like that, we have our set remade. We do not have a catch circle here. The cat, the main catch circle is about 40 yards. He kind of struggled through here, but it's not right here at our set. So that's the beautiful part about this. So let me keep going here and uh, get this guy uh, skinned out. Let's get a trail set in. Let's see how this how tough this is. Not too bad. It's got a little bit of toughness to it. I'm trying to decide whether I want to bury my bury my steak or not.
them. I don't want them hanging around. time I understand it, it'll be time to go, but maybe next year I'll get in here and I'll already have a lot of this surveyed. coyote sign running this trail so uh, you don't set without it
building material before I began. Thank you. 